Want to know how to install a bathroom rope hook? Yes! In this video, I will show you how easy it is to install it yourself. Hi, my name is Kim with Kimagine DIY, where I hope to help you imagine the possibilities with DIYs and crafts. If that sounds like fun, consider subscribing. Now let's just jump right into this project. I used a screw gun with a Phillips bit, some drill bits, a stud finder, a pencil, and a self-leveling laser. Here I'm unboxing the Bennington four-piece bathroom hardware set. I was actually impressed with how it was packaged there was no two metal pieces really coming in contact with each other. Every single piece of hardware was completely wrapped. So I was very impressed with that. Every hardware piece came with its own mount, drywall screws, an Allen key, and anchors. Here is the robe hook. And I'm actually using a self-leveling laser. It's hard to see it with the studio lighting on, so I just wanted to show what it would look like. I will also place a link below for this laser. So recommended height for a rope hook is about 70 inches. I just measured the height from the floor and I had my laser positioned between two tiles. That's how I wanted it to hang up. And then just place your mounting bracket I have the height and I know exactly where I want it. Just trace out the, the holes. And then I used my stud finder to make sure if I was going to hit a stud or not. When you're going to drill into a stud, you wanna create a pilot hole so it is a guide for your wood screw to go in straight. When picking your drill bit, you want to pick one big enough to cover most of the main shaft of the screw, but small enough so the drill bit does not cover any part of the teeth. Lucky for me, there was a stud where I wanted to drill. So I just used a drill bit that was smaller than the drywall screws that was given. And then I just used a screw gun to screw the top one in first, but not all the way. You don't want it taut yet. And then screw the bottom one in and then position it to where you want your mountain mounting bracket and you can tighten your screws. I always like to shake the bracket to make sure that it's in there nice and tight. If your stud finder does not hit a stud, then you need to open the hole with a larger drill bit. You want your drill bit to be as wide as the main thickness of your anchor, not including the teeth. Then you can widen the holes with your new drill bit. Next, you will need to hammer your anchors in and then you can screw your mounting bracket into the wall. So the Allen key comes with your hardware and you just want to pull the Allen screw out so you can fit your hardware right over the mounting bracket. Once it's flushed against the wall, then you're just going to tighten your Allen key until the screw is all the way in and taut. The hardest part of <laughs> installing any bathroom hardware, or not really the hardest part, but the most annoying part is actually trying to tighten this very small screw. Once you're done tightening up that Allen screw, give your rope hook a good shake and then you are done with this install. And here is the finished rope hook. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, you can click the card right up here or you can click right here for an entire playlist. And don't forget to watch the blooper at the end and I will see you guys in the next video. Imagine the possibilities with DIYs and crafts. <laughs> that didn't look right.